Meshi ni tsuru. Perfect. Do you know what tsumori wa nai means? Specifically tsumori? Tsumori wa nai. Oshieru osmori. Tsumori is a noun of some sort. Yeah, it is grammarly, basically a noun. Um, it's not really taught as a noun. I think it's normally taught as like a grammar point. But tsumori means to intent. So iwarete mo oshiru tsumori wa nai no de kata o tsukumete gomakashita. Which means um, I because I didn't want to uh, tell him to that teach him like this information to that extent. So because of that, I just kind of shrugged my um, shoulders and kind of like avoided the stomach, the, the subject is what it says. So tsumori means to intend, tsumori wa nai, I did not intend. Do you know what osowaru means? Osowaru. Oso. To teach. It is osowaru. Specifically, it is to be taught. To be taught. Which is why it's pronounced differently than oshieru, which is to teach. So in this case, rather being pronounced as oshieru, how is it pronounced? Also, what it perfect. Also, what it can you read this example sentence for me? Yoshinbo Kara Ryo Riori O O O So Wata from The, ingre the ingredients from the bodyguard. Yeah. Um, gori means, um, like, dish. Dish. Not like a dip, like, not like a physical dish, but like food. What I mean by dish? Like a meal. That's the idea. But the verb here is also what that. I mean, I was taught. Yeah, I was taught what? I was taught the dish. Yeah, I was taught basically how to cook, the, the Pacific dish. From who? Who taught me? From the bodyguard. Perfect. Um, Let's go read the line from the book. Here say, Aso. Aso. Ryo. Ryori nante shita koto nai kedo. Aso wareba dekiru ka mo. Is it aso or oso? Oso. Hi, hi. Oso wareba dekiru ka mo. Aso is con making an expression of is that so or that's how it is? Kamo? Um, the first part, money, the oh, one is oh, uh, so you're right, yes, yes. Um, that's like I see, I see. Oh, so. Okay, so he's he's it's saying like, to himself, ah, okay, yelling so. and then long soul. It's like, like that. Ah, is that, and so is like that. Oh, uh, no, ah is the same as the English ah, maybe o would be worse, same as that. The soul right here is so short is long soul, right? Which is that. This is oh that. So in English, mm -hmm. ah soul is like, oh, I got it. Is that so? Okay. Basically. Ah soul. And following Rio Ryori Nande, such a thing as the dish. The categories of dish. Shita to to do. Koto nai kedo. I don't know how to cook. Hi, However, I've never done something like cooking. If I am taught, then it's possible. Perhaps. Perfect. And now we are now reading the diary entry from this chapter. Do you know what Yuki means? 
a snow. Perfect. This is the kanji for it. Boop, boop, boop. Let's go read this example sentence. Yuki ga falling. Mm -hmm. How do you read that? Uh, osoru. Good guess. This is furu. furu. Yuki ga furu. Snow falls. Um, how do you read this word? Sumete. So tumetai is the same kanji there. Tumetai, which is tumetai, which means cold. However, we have a verb here, and the verb is read completely differently, even though the meaning is the same. Hiete. Hi, hiete. Perfect. So let's go read the line from the book. Um. Kino yori mo chira ni kiete kita hayai yuki ga furu kamo shiranai. What does sarani mean? Sarani. On top of that. Kind of. It means like. It's basically a word that means like more that you're using it for. And you have different ways to translate it in English depending on context. Um, in this context, I'd probably try translate it as even more rather than furthermore. Um, because you're basically we're adding plus marks to this verb here, which is he thick de. So if this wasn't in the sentence, because we have the yorimo, which means less than, it doesn't really change the meaning. But this is this adding moreness to the thing that's being compared, which already is going to have that because we're adding lessness to kino. The thing that's being compared is kyo, probably. Kyo. Yeah, so kyo no hoga and kyo wa sara ni. Basically the same. Sorry, Mani, I kind of lost focus a little bit. Um, right. So no sarani is is ko. is a comparative phrase. Not really. I mean, it is. I guess. Uh, as as uh, yori definitely is a comparative phrase. I I guess sara is a comparative phrase. It's comparative to something in the past. Past event. Comparative. Um, that's, um, so, uh, so you wouldn't really use sarani as a comparative for the future, where I would say yori and hoga is not, uh, locked like that. So, kino, kino yo, kino yori mo, even more than yesterday. Right. Sarani uh, kiete kita. It had become uh, even colder than before. Exactly. It's become even colder than yesterday. That's all it's saying. So you see, this doesn't really get translated in there because they already also have that. So it's just like yesterday is even less compared to how much more cold it was today. Would be if you're like trying to literally translate, which doesn't work. Hi. Um, haya yuki ga early snow. Furu, fallen. Kamo shirenai. Perhaps. Right. So string it together. Perhaps the early snow is falling. Will fall, right? Furu is in dictionary form, which has two possible meanings. It's either future tense or habitual tense. With hayai, the day snow, we're talking about early snow. As in, it's probably like September or something, rather than being December. So it's saying, oh, it might snow soon because it's so cold today, much colder than yesterday. Um, can you read this word for me? Kori tsuku. Perfect. Um, this means like to freeze. Kori tsuku. So the thing that's freezing is the kawa. Um, do you know how to read this word? Kono, 
on um, this winter. I forgot the word for winter. Morning and then Oh, this that's week. uh for you. For you. Kono for you wa nari soda. It's very similar to tumetai. The reason I want to. Reason? What? Tsumetai. Oh, tsumori. Tsumori does mean want to. I mean, I mean, intend to. Intend. It's, I said tsumetai. Tsumetai. It's very cold. Right. So this is an... Um, <clears throat> it's okay at the coup at the end of it. So is that a verb, Bonnie? So that's a really good guess. Is nari a noun here? And nari soul? Um... N nari is a verb. It's a ver verb. You're right. It's a verb. So that means you're not allowed to have a verb describe a verb like that. That would be grammarly incorrect. So since you have the knowledge that nari soul is that verb that's turned into an adjective with the soul at the end, that there doesn't really make sense for this word to also be a verb. This must be an adverb, which means normally this has an e here. This word right here means cold, which is samui. So, samuku. It's become samui. Mommy, the difference between sumetai and samui is sumetai referred to the object being cold, and samui is referring to the environment being cold. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. So, here it says that this winter, kono furi, Hai, furi? Hai. Kono furi wa... I'm oh, sorry, fu fuyu. Fuyu. Kono suyu wa tsume... It's not tsume da. Uh, samu, samuku nari soda. It has become cold this winter, it seems. Well, so soda. Yes. Here. It's like, uh, he's... It's like it, Would you he, say it's winter time right now? Is it winter time right now? Is it's it of winter? the information you have. Hi. It has we could become winter. That is a good guess. So the previous sentence, we were told that it's so cold, it's getting colder and colder, that we might it might possible we'll get snow, but it's going to be an early snow. Most likely the season is still fall. It's probably not winter season yet, because otherwise we wouldn't remain like it's weird how cold it is right now. He's saying um, it's really cold right now. I think this this coming kono this fall is going to be really cold. That's why we have Seoul saying it's it's not winter yet, and it hasn't, but it looks like it's going to be a cold winter. So it could be winter time. That's totally possible. It had, but it has to be very early winter. Or very or late fall is our oh. season. So it should not be like December, right? So it should should be sometime where it's a little bit early for it to be so cold that snow would fall, but it's so cold that snow could fall. So as I say this winter it's gonna be pretty snow. I'm on the so it's saying that for so the soul here is saying it looks to be. Yes. Describing the 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 appearance, the appearance of things. So I remember now. So now it's kawa mo koritsuku daro. So daro here again is a phrase that mean isn't it? Isn't it? Kind of. Yes. So daro literally means vagueness. Vague. We don't say that in English. We don't have it's a, it's a generic vagueness marker that goes at the end of the sentence to show vagueness. So when we translate into English, we tend to have about three different things to translate it on by using context. The one you were using the you just did was one of those examples, which was the "don't you think so" kind of meaning. That would be if you were saying the sentence out loud to another person and you wanted them to respond with like nah right 
it's like when you say, oh, isn't it? Don't you think it's going to be cold tomorrow? And they're like, yeah, I do think it's going to be cold tomorrow, right? That's that version. You, you're um, doing that kind of having a conversation with somebody. Um, but more accurately, I would almost always translate that all as probably. But the other meaning is I wonder. So you could translate the sentence as I wonder if even the river will koritsuku. Or you could translate it as the river will probably koritsuku. Both would be accurate. I personally like to stick with probably because it's uh you're less likely to get confused later on. As I wonder only works in very specific connotations. Mona, you said it could also be a wish. Is that right? I don't know where wish came from. I definitely said nothing about that. Um, Sorry. wish is hoshi. Hoshi. It could, daro. It could mean I wonder, probably. Or what is the third thing that you mentioned? Um, it's when you're talking to somebody and you're having a conversation and you want them to agree with you. You'd say like, "Don't you like popcorn?" And they're like, "Yeah, I do like popcorn." The doncha there is not a statement of fact. You like popcorn. You added a vagueness to you. Doncha. I, uh, to allow someone to say, no, I hate popcorn. You, it, this right here, as I said, just means vague. I've added a vague word to the sentence. The sentence is not a fact. It has not been verified. This is a vagueness marker at the end of the sentence. English does not have a generic vagueness marker. Instead, we have multiple other words that we pick in order to denote vagueness depending on context. So, daro, which was the first version you used, was the vagueness in which you're having a conversation with somebody and you're adding vagueness so that they can agree with you. So, the, that would be that version of daro. Like, isn't he adorable? Might be an example of when you use daro. Isn't he adorable? The word isn't in the English sentence is not literally meaning is not. It's not. It is literally, if you translated it, it is he is not adorable question, but that doesn't actually make any sense. That's not the reason why we said the sentence out loud in English. Isn't he adorable is a question that you're saying to somebody else, not to be a question, but for them to agree with you. Isn't is this as it is being used as a vagueness to mark vagueness to the sentence so that someone else can confirm because you're having a conversation. So this daro, he's writing it in his diary. He's not having a conversation with anybody. There's no conversation going on. So because of that, it makes no sense to assume that he's writing this in order for someone else to write in his diary afterwards saying, yeah, I think so too. So because of that, um, probably, is what I would pick because it always just means probably. But um, in English, probably doesn't really work as a conversation. Please continue the conversation with me, right? It doesn't really have that use. So because of that, you do have to kind of have the, oh, yes, it can have the other use in there because English doesn't use that vagueness. We normally use like isn't as our vagueness marker in conversations. Um, you can also use right, right? Nah, it's another kind of a vagueness marker, a questioning kind of thing for someone else to agree and affirm the statement. Walk up that. I understand. So what does he probably think is going to happen? He thinks that the river will get, will freeze. So yes, he does. Horitsuku. Perfect. I think even the river will freeze. So this could be and the river will freeze, but I think even makes sense in this context because he's talking about how cold this um season is going to become. But even the river will freeze. Do you know how to read this word? Kaze. This kaze kaze. Which kaze is this? Is this the cold kaze or the wind kaze? Kaze kurai. This is not kaze. This is a different reading. This is... um. No, it's pronounced as kaze. It's either wind kaze or cold kaze. No, 
only have two choices. The context here is Amae date. Omae date, Kazekurai, Hitakotogaro. Aro. That's a daro, that vagueness marker we just saw. But if we added it to aru, to exist, because we have kotogaru, which we saw kotoganai before on a different phrase, it's the same thing. There exists this event in your lifetime so far. You so this is even you that that even you have experienced kaze kurai hita. Aru, there exists an event such as this before. Or you combine with the daro for vagueness, meaning Which this is, is a partial question. Yeah, Even it's saying you, you should agree with me. You, you just you should confirm this. Say like, yes, I have done that. Is the assumption. <laughs> Mani, is it fair right. to think of Daro as a kind of question, but not a strong question? As yes. in, it's a... it is a question that doesn't have an answer. A rhetorical question. The reason it's a rhetorical question is because the speaker had already assumed what the answer is. And yes. In this case, he's assuming that. Even for you, Omaya Date, you have seen such a win before. Uh, you have experienced such an event. I don't know if uh, it could be C, but I don't think Hiku means to see. So I would argue not so seeing it. Hita, an event. meaning you have felt it, right? You have pulled in such a thing. Yes. So you had caught a code, basically. Yes. Even you have had a cold, haven't you? And the Even kurai here is a, a modifier for kaze, meaning that that kind of a thing. And the thing here yes, is the kaze. like mitai. In this case, the kurai is almost saying like the minimum net, like like the, at least the cold, almost, rather than using like mitai or whatever. But it's it's just the about word. Even about. for you... You had caught a cold before, haven't you? Exactly. Or you should have also you should have already have gotten a cold before, haven't you? Oh, you should have also have had a cold before. Could also be how you can say that. Uh, but whichever works, the idea is that the person's supposed to be like, yeah. Um, and here Kam would be like, yeah. I've never done something like that's cold. Do you know what say there means? The say? The say from the ame no say? Mm -hmm. You can eat food. I'm sorry. You can eat food. Ame no say de. Subere yasukatta. Kono michi wa. Subere ya. Subere yasukatta. Yasui is adjective meaning Hi. quickly. Mm, not quickly. It has two possible meanings depending on the kanji. There's no kanji here. So it's either going to mean cheap or it's going to mean easy. Easy. And it's been... Hi. Slippery. Hi. Do you think easy it's... To slip. Yes, easy to slip on. And we're talking about the path is easy to slip on. We say here that the michi o hadashite, something about the foot, the bare foot. De? What is de mark? Do you know what the grammar of de is? De here is not the te form. De here is the instrumental de because Correct. of this. Yes, this is our tool use. So using my bare feet, I fumu on the path. I step on the path barefoot. The to here, to in Japanese has two uses. One use is the 100% right afterwards um, meaning. The other meaning is 
realized information after event one. So as soon as he does this, right afterwards, he realizes this information. That's the other use you can do it because it happened right when he did that. As soon as his bare feet touched the floor, he realized the floor was easy to slip on. What tool? Why is this tool word in the second sentence? Seide. Yukata ni futame no seide. He's pointing to the, the reason of it. Yeah, this is the why. The reason why it's cold is because of ame. What's ame? Ame, it's the rain. It's because of the rain. Whose rain is the, the fault of that uh, the ground is easy to slip on? Mani, is that futa from the furu? Hai. So you cut that futa, the rain that was in the evening. The futa? What does futa mean? The, the fallen. Hai. The rain, the rain that fell in the evening. At... Yes. Yes. Hai. The futa so... is fallen, but fumu is to walk. Yes. Different verbs. Both have the word foot in it. Yes. Foot as a sound exists. That's interesting in that they both kind of come from the action of falling down. Your foot kind falls of. and the rain fall down. Mm -hmm. You put you place your foot down. Hi. Yeah, they say if you draw someone doing a walk cycle, walking is just uh catching yourself when you're falling forward. Hi. Suberi kata. Suberi yatsu kata. So what does say mean? Is the cause of things. Perfect. Hi, hi, hi. And what does kaze mean with this kanji? Kaze in this Context mean a um like a cold like a sickness as in perfect. A, Let's go read the line from the book. Uh, Genbun is today is <clears throat> this today is um you know is yesterday so kyo is today so kyo right. wa kaze no se de because of the wind today. Ichidan to kibun ga warui. So, wind. You were correct that wind was pronounced as ha ze. You were incorrect in that this is the kanji for wind. Ha ze, which means wind, has only one kanji character which is the first character in the word for cold. This right here, by itself, is wind. But when you add um, jama into it, um, it becomes a cold. It's like how in English, cold means shiver, right? Or to have influenza. In Japanese, wind could have a second meaning, but with different kanji to show the badness of it. To mean you've got the wind, right? You you have influenza. Well, in this reading, would it still read as kaze? Yes, it is kaze. But the writing is two kanji instead of just right. the one kanji. Exactly. Right. So here it say that because of the cold today. Um, ichidan meaning the first. To, kibun ga wari. I felt bad. I'm not in good shape. Right. Um. Do you know what dan, um, from kaidan means? Dan dan is like a step. It is a step. So ichi dan ichi dan. The kanji for it is one step. Do you have a second idea what ichidan might mean in the sentence? Ichidan to kibun ga wari. So, 
Moni, you mentioned that toll had two usage. Either that is so so the toll that has two uses that I mentioned is specifically toll with a quest with a comma after it. That has no relationship at all. Is, is this toll? See how it has a comma right there? That is a grammatical toll, which is a conjunction. I see. Conjunction. Uh, Oh, the toe okay. over here has no relationship to that toe at all. This toe does have two uses. It is either a adverb marker or it means and. Oh. So the other toe is a conjunction toe, and this toe is either an adverb toe or a enumerational toe. Exactly. And in this um, case, it's an adverb. Because the ijidan is modifying the warui? Yes. Kibun ga warui. Theoretically, it's, it's modifying kind of this whole thing that's a phrase, but it's mostly modifying the warui ness. But, so um, worse yes. that I felt. I feel basically saying thanks to the cold, I feel even worse. I feel a step worse is the literal meaning. So you got there's a badness and you add another step to that. That's how bad he's feeling. So in English, you just to say, I am one, I'm even more, probably just what we'd say. We could say one level more, one rung more, one step more is the literal. Just I'm 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 even I'm even more in a bad mood because of my cold today. You know what manabu means? Manabu is a verb that is to study. Yes. To or learn. to remember, actually. Remember is definitely closer to studying. That is correct. But it's it's just to um to, to learn. To, to memorize remember. something is kung is oboidu. To memorize. That's oboidu, yes. What does manabu mean? Manabu? Right. Oh, it's to study then. It's to study. Yes, to it is to study. Whether you succeed or not, it doesn't. It doesn't specify. matter. <laughs> right. Um, what is the te form of this kanji here? This word? So the bu meaning is an unde form. So right. manande. Perfect. Let's go read this example sentence. Ma jutsu shi wa. Maho no jutsu o Mananda. The magician studied the spell, sort of the magic spell, hi. hi. For spells, not specified. Henshin. This is a new word. Henshin. Any idea what it means? You might she recognize the conjunction. refers to one bodies? Or yes. Or refer to any bodies in particular? Mm -hmm. How about the hen? Hen is a change. Yes. So we have body and change. And these have combined it together. Any guesses what this might mean? It's mean... The body that has change, so it means transform? It does mean transform. Perfect. Specifically, transform your body to metamorphosize. Perfect. So this ended with sheen. What did it start with? Hen. Perfect. Let's go read this example sentence. So ma jutsu shi wa hen shin shita. Shita from shuru. Hi. So the magician transformed in the Perfect. past. So he had transformed. Hi. Sorry with hen. What did it end with? Shin. Perfect. Let's go read the example sentence. Um Kodomo, not Kodomo. This is this is not Kodomo. This is um an apprentice, so it Hi. it's um something she uh Hi. deshi 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 wa henshin no jutsu o 
Mananda, the apprentice learned the transformation skill, transformation Perfect. spell. The apprentice studied the transformation spell. Um, do you know what the verb up here is pronounced as? Ka, ka -u. Perfect. To buy. What's the stem form of kau? The stem is kari. Kai, hai. So kai dasu and kau are basically the same. They both mean to buy. Um, can you read this uh, phrase from our past? Is that a koto? Shoku that koto? is koto, but here it's read as ji because they got married. Shokuji. Shoku ji. Is this referring to a meal? It is. Shokuji o tori ni. Dakaketa. Good guess. So da comes from the verb da. To, if there was a she here, you'd be right. It'd be dash kaketa, which is not is not a real word, but that's how that would be pronounced. Here we just have kaketa. This is a compound word, meaning this right here must be a ru verb. Do you know how this is read when there is a ru after it? The other one is dasu, so this one is deru. Right, deru. So it's te kaketa, to begin to deru. De kaketa, to begin to appear. Hi. To start. Um. So deru can mean to start, but that's normally when it's in the second position rather than when it's in the first position. First position is more of the appearing kind of meaning. In this case, de kakeru is normally specifically used to mean to uh, leave your house in some kind of way. To go out is what we say in English. To go out. So we want to go out. We're describing this going out action with the adverb that we got tori, which is comes from the verb toru. You know what toru means? Toru, to take. Hi. Right, so we're describing the going out with taking. Taking what? Taking the o, o marker, the O mark, the th right. thing, which is lunch or meal. meal. Go out taking a meal. Yes, to go out to take a meal, probably is, if you want to literally translate it, to go out to take a meal. You don't really say take a meal all that often in English. Like it's not like wrong, wrong, but we're more likely to say to go out to eat would probably be how you would just translate this and just kind of mesh these together because. We just don't really say take a meal, but mm -hmm. that's what you're doing. You're going to like go to a restaurant or something. Mm -hmm. That type mm -hmm. of idea. Like to partake. Monito, no da ga. No da is here is everything is referred to as the act of going out. Yes. The no is the is the being described with the relative clause here, which is basically just restating that twice and then we have da to make it into a statement and ga to mean but um so yeah we're just kind of making it more saying the we basically let's turn that, that into a noun yeah we're going we are going we are going out to for a meal however ga. okay okay Um, what's the stem form of this word? Kai, kai dasu, so it's kai dashi. Perfect. You know what nausu means? Nausu, to play something or to fix something. Hi, to fix something. Perfect. So, yeah, nausu, um, yeah, I just have the same kanji as that. Do you know what the stem form of nausu is? Naoshi. Perfect. So now, when it's in the second position of a verb, the bot the the meaning it tends to mean is to mean redo. But the idea is that you're fixing an action that you did incorrectly before in some way normally. 
So it's like to redo something and they like to refix it up type of idea. So if you're just normally redoing something over and over and over, you're probably going to use like Kudikai Su instead. Now Su so just is more of a, the previous idea, there's something wrong with it. Either like uh, you forgot it or um, you did it wrong or it got interrupted or something. So you had to redo it. Um, the The previous action was ended in some way. Basically. So this right here happened in the past and it ended and it's this is focusing on redoing it so that it's all right, basically. So can you read this word for me? Manabi na osu. Perfect. What does this mean? Learn. To relearn. Exactly. Which that already has a meaning in English, right? It means that you learned something and then you forgot it, right? So now you have to relearn it, but it's not to mean to learn something over and over again. Like, oh, I'm going to re, I'm going to practice again, or I'm going to learn more things, or I'm just learning, learning, learning. Got to be the, I learned this thing, thing was forgotten, so now I have to relearn it, right? So that's that's what it means. So redo in a, like, fix it kind of way. Um, let's go yeah. read this example sentence. Which is what I'm doing all the time. Hi, hi. <laughs> That's the that's the life of a student, isn't it? I I don't like it, but uh, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> hi, money. Um, hen, hen, no, jutsu o manabi na o shita. It said. Oh, this right. is modifying still. It's modifying show 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 what? This is a kozo. Kozo. Kozo wa tasogare te. Te is from Yasuragite and it's like hikui is the kanji. Yatsuragite Yatsura Sogare Tatsogare Te e. Te Te has hikui. hikui. Te means mansion. Do you know what the meaning of this is meaning here? It's the mansions that name Tasoga. Good guess. This means district. No district. Well, it's not mansion. It's district. So it's right. um. It's still pronounced Te though, right? Mona? No, Te is mansion. So it's not Te. It's guy. Not Te. This is guy. Yes. I don't know. My brain is like scrambled eggs. Ah. I can't remember. Tazogare <laughs> guy e. Perfect. So all of this was to modify the kozo, which Hi. say that the boy that Naoshita, the boy that that relearn the transformation skills with the spell, he left. He went out. He left to where? He left for Tatsora Tatsogare Gai, the district. Hi, the Tatsogare district. Perfect. Um, do you know what Tokoro Datta means? Tokoro Datta. Tokoro is the kanji for time. Right? And place. The place. Tokoro Datta. Data is the da, the des. Hi, it's so past tense have... of des. So he said that that was the place. And time. And time. That's the point. The place where that's, I don't know. Ayo, tabi oi tokoro. Tokoro. That's the tokoro. That's the it. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
パイを食べおえる。That's when I finish the pie. Close. Yeah, we do have finished the pie. Tokoro、um, is actually refers to the moment just before you finish the pie. Wait, Moni, why is it just before? Tokoro means the place or the time, right? It, but see, it's a place of time when this verb is happening. As you can see, oiru is future tense. It's not、oh. oita. So we can't have actually finished the verb yet because it's、the、not、time. oita. It's oiru. That's, that's why it is. It's because the verb's is future not tense. Done. It's not done yet. Not yet it、there. will be done. <laughs> so the idea is that we're just about to be finishing it. We got the ah,、uh, they're done with the pie, but maybe there's one more scoop left, hence why we don't have it. Have it oit. So if it said have it oit that tokoro, then yes, we would have been right. It would have been already done. Hey,、right. um, do you know why, what,、uh, other than the, so do you know why tokoro is kind of used rather than toki? Like vibe wise, not like literally why? Like how are these vibes different? Toki referred to the moment. When、yeah. the action occurred, this has a much more focus on time. Well, Tokoro focuses more on the action, even though time is with it. So that's why you say chisai toki to mean when I was little, while you don't say chisai tokoro, because then it sounds like the time when I was shrunk, because it feels like you're describing the action of being small. So, like a magic spell made you small, maybe you could do that.、Um, mm. But toki is more like, The time period in general when I was small. So it feels more like when you were little. When I was little would be Chisai Toki. So Toki just doesn't really care about what you were doing, just the time, really.、Um, so <laughs> since Tokoro tends to be, because we're always almost going to have that future tense right there, it's just on the verge of this action being done. So you can. Add the e and the ni with tokoro if you want to stick this inside of the sentence rather than ending the sentence with it, right? So, right here, we ended it. It just says it was the time when I,、uh, nobody was just about to finish eating the pie. So, here, instead, if this ni, right, that's our adverb ni, it's our saying we're describing the action、uh, with this. So, because of that, it means during. So, while this is just about to be complete, basically.、Um, can you read the example sentence? Kai da shite ni da kakeru koto tokoro ni kozo wa kaete kita. Hi, can you read this word again for me? De kakeru. Hi, de kakeru. Perfect. So, what does this mean? While, during, the kozo went out to buy things, something returned. Who returned? The kozo returned. Right,、I'm、exactly.、Saying. So, Right when the boy was about to go out to buy, buy stuff, right when the boy was about to go shopping,、uh, the boy came back, is what it says. So,、uh, in this case, the idea is that maybe there's the house right here. The kid puts on the shoes, takes a step outside, and then turned around. He didn't actually manage to dekakeru, didn't really actually manage to. Leave the location to appear in a new location to do shopping.、Um, and instead, he returned right back home instead.、So、Money, right this has been、yeah. Tokoro E. Hi. Would the Tokoro E still be an adverb? or is Apparent, it still Yes. It, it, apparently, it's still, still the same here.、Um, it just, I guess, is a, at this、um, location, right? That's why, like, and normally is not used with time. And that's because tokoro is place with location and apprentice. I mean, sorry, it's place with time and apprentices. So you can use e with it because it's like your destination at the location where you are just about to be leaving to go buy food. 
<laughs> that is when I the boy came home. Um, so in this sentence, the boy actually does not need to be doing the going out to get food. Um, it could be I was going to go out to buy food and the boy came home. Um, that would almost be more likely just because the kaitik the uh could be confusing about how this could be accomplished if he's going out. Uh, but it could be the boy for first. It's not um specified. Right. Yeah, it is apparently allowed for this, and we're probably going to see it in the um example sentence, which is why the eh was specifically mentioned. Yeah, so that's where the eh is there. So the eh is here. So we're gonna skip that. Go down the bottom. Okay. Um. So yeah, let's go read this line from the book. Maho jutsu sho. O. Jikuri to. Yonde. So here the to is the adverb to from Hi. jikuri. Jikuri to yonde, comma. Henshin no jutsu o. Manabi na o shite iru tokoro e. Comma. Natsu tazo gare gai e kai deshi ni kai dashi ni de kaketa benetto to. Kozo ga kaete kita ongashita. Ongashita. It's something, oh, it is on. Ongashita. Oto. On is the married reading. It's not married to anything. Oto See, there's no other kanji next to it. Hi. Um, this kama here has a very specific use. Is the tokoro e describing the kaketa? Or is it describing um kaitekita? Or the oto? I mean the shita. We say that tokoro is used with verb. And we had three subsequent verb here. Hi. The kama um is very important to let you know which verb we are modifying. I'm guessing the comma means that it's modifying the very last verb, which yeah. is the main verb of the sentence. It is saying that. It's saying skip it over. Um, at, at, at the very minimum, it says skip the next one. That's the. It is for sure not de kaketa. Um, I I would also say it's probably the. Shita. So um, there's not like a specific grammar point that explains this. So. I could theoretically be this, but it's probably that. I would say should be that. Um, but yeah, let's go read. So sorry, you read it in Japanese already. So now let's go translate it. What is it? All right. So here we have the object of the yonde being the book. Right. The, the maho, the machutsu sho. The reading was described as being chikurito, right. meaning I forgot this, but I'm guessing that is like quickly reading. It's actually the opposite. It is a very, it's like the, oh, it uh, has a very like, he he's very like deeply reading this. Oh, he's into it. He's concentrated right. reading. Very careful. He read it carefully. Um, and then the comma means that there's another action going on. Yes, we do this first, which leads to the next action being able to be done. He would not be able to madabi naosu if he did not yomu the majitusho. Hi. So here he's saying that he is relearning iru here is relearning the transformation spell right and did he relearn it or is he almost there 
he almost there. So, tokoro e, as he was going to that place where he would have learned it, right? This exactly. imaginary place. So, so. This meta. Otogashita. This tokoro is a metaphysical tokoro. It's not the like a place where you walk to. Hai. The place exactly. of existence. It's a it's a state of being that you get there. Yeah. That's why it's an e. It marked the destinations. Yes. Because it's an actual. It's a place. It's a place. It's a metaphorical place. <laughs> metaphorical place. So. As nobody was about to get to this place, Otogashita. a sound occurred. What sound? The sound that is described as being Bonnet and the boy return. And because they returned, the sound happened. Yes. Um, uh, who's Bonnet? Which which Bonnet? The Bonnet that had gone out to buy stuff. Exactly. Perfect. At Tatsurage guy. Hi. Perfect. <laughs> yep. Hi. Hi. Yeah, perfect. Let me read this word. Kaze. What does it mean? Kaze means the cold. Okay. How about this word? Or the flu. I'm going to call it the flu from now the on. The flu is probably a better word to use. Um, This is actually cold. Hi. Sume. It's not sume. It's sa. sa mu -ku. Yep, Samuku from Samui. How do you read, say, winter? Fuyu. Fuyu, hi. How about to be taught? Osoware. Perfect. Mm. And how do you read this word? Kaidashi. And this one? Dekaketa. Perfect. What does Ichidan mean? One more. One more. One more. Up. Yeah. Perfect. And how do you read this word? It's Ryu. Ri. Close. That is Ri down here. But um, Ryu starts with a Ri, right? So that would be Ryu. It's Ryo. The Ri. The Ri is the first kanji. So it ends with a Ri. So it's Ro Ri. Ryo would start with the Ri. Ri. Ryo, right. Ryo, 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 Ryo. So, what does uh, Ryo mean? Ryo is a dish, as in like the recipe of it. The... So here will be our last line of the day. Dai dokoro e orite. Miruto Kozo ga ri riori hai riori jiori shite ita. So now here is that other to. It's not adverbal to. It's the conjunct conjunction to, which has two possible uses. Do you remember what they were? Is immediate action following. Right. Or immediate realization following. Which do you think it is in this context? Here is the action of shite ita. The making of the meal. Riori shite ita. So he, he, the following action is immediate. It's possible. Who went, who did the daitokore? Um, orite miru. Is that the kozo? Mm. So orite miru is a verb that meaning miru is to try, right, Mani? Right. To attempt. 
to to do an action for the first time. So, neburi Hi. went down to the kitchen, mm -hmm. meaning it's probably upstairs reading. Hi. So when what? neburi went down in the kitchen, did that cause the boy to start making food? No. So that's not a hundred percent immediate was, reaction. The boy was probably boy. already cooking. So it's the realization in this context. Right. That right there is a hundred percent context based. Without context, it's fully possible that Kozo was the sent was the subject for both sentences. That the boy decided to go down to the thing and was like, "Oh, I want to be making my food." Oh, um, the teita does make it seem a little bit like it's not the boy like the boy, it's saying the boy was cooking food right I, so that does make it hard to have the two actions be um right after each other just by the tensing of it so there is a little bit of a grammar telling you it's realization but it's not like super aggressive um so like it could have be it could have been rodeal suru or stan it still makes sense to be the boy is going to be cooking, right? When I, I realized the boy was about to start cooking or whatever, or the boy already cooked. So if it was uh, shita, uh, there'd be, it could be confusing versus teiru, since it, it makes it more confusing because if this is currently happening, how did they get this action done? Was he cooking while walking down the stairs? It would almost feel like that, if that makes any sense. Hi. Um, this is all because I forgot about the previous sentence, which oh, was, so he was saying that he was in concentrated reading. Now he's right. going down the stairs because exactly. of the Exactly. Yep. Nobody heard them going down, and that's why he wasn't able to finish learning the magical spell. Because, oh, he decided to go down and check up on them. And he went, oh my gosh, what is the boy doing? He's cooking. Oh my, oh my. Han's gonna be the bestest cook you've ever seen. 